Loud applause from the massed ranks of England supporters. Beckham, captain of his country for the 50th time, winning his 86th cap. Level now with Kenny Sampson in sixth position in the all-time caps table. And let's have a look at the uh, England team that he leads one more time. It's the 4-4-2, as the boys in the studio said, with Ledley King in the midfield holding role. Wayne Bridge back after a year's absence from internationals, although Ericsson tells me he doesn't intend him to play the full 90 minutes. Paul Konczewski is among the substitutes, and so is Sol Campbell with Terry and Ferdinand, the preferred partnership at the back. Now, Argentina have some well-known names in their lineup. Zanetti there scored against England in the 1998 World Cup. Ayala netted in the penalty shootout before David Batty missed. Riquelme in midfield is now the highly rated orchestrator. And up front, Chelsea's Ernan Crespo has a record of 28 goals in 53 internationals. And forward by Zanetti to Crespo. Oh, here are Argentina with Riquelme coming through as well. There's the shot, turned over by Robinson. Riquelme's the man around whom they operate now. And he hit that well. That's all they need there, a little, a little break, a bit of confusion. John Terry's obviously backing off because he's got someone to mark. He's not sure where to go, and Riquelme obviously sees, gets a side of goal, has a good hit, Paul Robinson makes a fine save. Maxi Rodriguez following up, here's Tevez again, Zanetti on the far side, bends the cross round, Bridge. there's Rodriguez again! That's a second save by Robinson, sheer reactions. Excellent goalkeeping again by Paul Robinson, England get a little bit caught out wide. It's a great shot and a reaction saved by Paul Robinson. This can be Asso to Riquelme and now Zanetti, but other teams involved in friendlies like this one. France playing Germany and Holland playing Italy. Gerard looking here for Wayne Rooney and he's through Rooney. Can he do it for England? He's hit the post and Owen couldn't get to the rebound. How close can you be, Wayne Rooney? But watch this, Graham. Oh, it's a great ball by Steven Gerrard. Um, well played, Wayne Rooney, it's an excellent effort, and how that's just pure bad luck. He's done everything right, he's had a little look at the goalkeeper, lifted it over him, and the spin on the ball should take it into the net, but it hits the post squarely, comes back out. It all came from a mistake from Zanetti, an uncharacteristic mistake, but it might take something like that for one of these teams to get a goal. It's, it's a very close match, John, at the moment. There's Rodriguez. Takes on Bridge. Right, oh, it's going to be a goal! Ernan Crespo! has done it for Argentina, the Chelsea man. And by his standards, it turned out to be a simple chance. And the South Americans lead after 34 minutes. And it was so simple in the end. Well, that's the problem for Wayne Bridge, and I feel sorry for him, like I said before, he's not had experience of playing football for a year now, and to be thrown in against this quality opposition, Rodriguez goes past him, creates an opening. Ferdinand can't do much about it, he's going towards his own goal, and it's a simple finish for Crespo. Gerrard. Steven Gerrard! That's a great effort by Steven Gerrard, that's got to be all of 30 yards he's hit that from. And I think he had the keeper beaten. You see, he gets a side of goal, that's a great hit. Keeper's actually got his fingers on that, that should be a corner, John. I think that's a save, Graham, you know. It is a save. Oh. Beckham with the flick on, Rooney! England have equalised and it's Wayne Rooney, whose first half performance certainly merits the goal, and one number nine here replies to the other. And it's Argentina this time who make the defensive mistake, it was a careless moment I think by uh, Roberto Ayala that led to that. Oh, it's up in the air, isn't it, by Ayala, knocked on by Beckham and Rooney reads it and gets there to finish it off. And that wasn't, wasn't the best shot that he's ever had, but he's found the corner. Tevez. This is Zanetti. Oh, near post. Oh, and the flying header. Serene came in, and the handball, I think, was why uh, the referee just intervened there. Well, that was reminiscent of one Diego Maradona, I think. I think Sorin's come in at the far post, can't quite reach it and gone for the ball with his hand. I'm not 100% certain. I think it was right on the line when Robinson smothered it here, Graham, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right on the line. <laughs> I can't believe Sorin's gone for the ball with his hand there. Paul Robinson's obviously not very happy about that. It's ungentlemanly conduct. Absolutely. 
Now, is Riccardi going to try and test Robinson from here? He chips it in, and there's Demichelis, and it's over the line, and Argentina have scored. And Samuel was right in there, as well as Demichelis, and Argentina are 2-1 up. It's another set piece. I remember we suffered one of these in uh, St Etienne against them. It's a well-worked free kick, Samuel gets up, Wins the ball, beats everybody. Yes, it's Samuel's goal. It was over the line before they followed it in. Walter Samuel of Inter Milan will claim it, even though it was finished off there just in case by Ayala. And Argentina are back in front. Here comes Rooney with Ayala. And it's come out to Gerard, And he steams forward for England. And can Rooney finish it or can Lampard finish it? Not quite. So unfortunate for Frank Lampard. He'll be disappointed with that, with his strike rate and the quality of his finishing. He'll be disappointed. It's a good crossfield ball by David Beckham. Obviously, it's a slight risk that ball. But Steven Gerrard does well to anticipate what's going on. Puts a perfect ball in. And unfortunately for Frank Lampard, he's just leaning back and put off by the tackle of Sarin as he comes in. Good skill from Joe Cole. Oh, he nearly set Frank Lampard up there. Young is free on the right-hand side for England. Decent cross as well. Oh, and Lampard shoots. That's so unlucky by Frank Lampard. Good play by Joe Cole. He's coming off the left-hand side of the pitch. Luke Young does well, lifts the ball up. It gets cleared, but Frank Lampard doing what he does well is marshalling that edge of the box. That's just a couple of feet wide, he's hit it as well as he could, really. And a foul here by Sorin. And a chance maybe now for England's free kick specialist, David Beckham, to leave an imprint on the match. Beckham! Goalkeeper got there, but so did... Oh! How did he save the second one from Michael Owen? What a great save. Again, he did quite well with the first free kick. It wasn't that powerful, but it bounced in front of him. You can see it coming in. It just bounces in front of him, palms it down, straight into the feet of Michael Owen. But the second save is a great save, takes a deflection. Rodriguez. Oh, now he's onside, Zanetti. There's danger here for England. Terry's header. Lampard to clear. But how long for? That's the question. Riquelme steers it through, Saviola! Oh, and it's going to come to Rodriguez! Well played, Robinson! Well done, the goalkeeper. He did everything there, Paul Robinson. Great bravery on the first attempt. I think he got a kick in the head for his troubles, but was kept his wits about him and managed to uh, make an excellent second save. Gerard again from the right-hand side. Joe Cole's up! Oh, and there it is! It's the equaliser by Michael Owen! And England are back at 2-2. Just look at the celebrations down on the bench. You'd think it was a World Cup match. Michael Owen scores for England, just as he did when he was 18 against Argentina in Saint-Étienne. Wonderful moment for England. Three minutes from the end of the 90. Steven Gerrard with the cross. Joe Cole went in first, but Owen was lurking behind him. And Graham, it's two all. Rooney, can England win it at the last? Owen's there again, Beckham! Oh, the goalkeeper saved it, Crouch! Oh, goodness, I thought Beckham had got the winner. I can't believe that. He did everything right. Wayne Rooney picked the ball up, now Argentina on the attack. Oh, it's put through by Saviola and it's Cruz! No penalty, referee waves it away. Cruz was looking for one. What a climax in the first minute of stoppage time now. Rooney for England. Joe Cole. Crouch comes in far side. But the, oh, there we've got it. England have scored again. It's Michael Owen. It's 3 2. Owen. Oh, Owen 2 in a matter of minutes. What an amazing finish in Geneva. Michael Owen there again. And Argentina are deflated.
they're standing around looking at each other and they don't know where the lead has gone and they don't know where the match has gone but it's gone to England and look at that what a great finish Joe Cole he's had a big influence since he's come on he drifts inside again perfect pass in Michael Owen gets in front of the Argentinian defender and Peter Crouch and scores past the Argentinian goalkeeper who's been absolutely massive in that goal he's made some great saves Rooney to Cole and there it is England win in Geneva they've beaten one of the two favourites for the World Cup and again, another chapter in this terrific series between England and Argentina. Something always happens when they meet. But could you have programmed a finish like that? Jose Peckerman congratulates Sven Joran Eriksson. And Michael Owen is the hero of the hour with two goals in the last six minutes to turn what looked like a 2-1 defeat into a 3-2 victory. And Argentina just walk off looking absolutely astonished.